Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. In our previous video, we studied the different characteristics of NMR peaks or signals in which we studied chemical shift and the position of NMR signal. So today we will discuss in detail that how the position of NMR peaks or signal changes according to the environment of the protons in which the major topic is shielding effect so when electronic environment of proton nucleus changes the position of the signal changes when electron present around the proton is placed in an external magnetic field the magnetic field will be induced due to spinning of these charged electrons the induced magnetic field which is represented with be of the electrons will be opposite in direction of the external magnetic field which is B0 causing shielding effect. This effect also called as diamagnetic effect or diamagnetic shielding. The nucleus experience weaker external magnetic field due to shielding effect of the electrons around the proton. The splitting between two spin states decreases. Thus the lower energy radiations are required for spin flipping. Therefore, the signal is shifted upfield, that is, towards the lower frequency. The shielding effect is due to the electrons present around the hydrogen as well as the surrounding electrons of other atoms. Here we are going to discuss that how this shielding effect occurs. This arrow represents the external magnetic field which is B0 and here is the proton which represents the NMR signal. When this magnetic field is applied on this proton, the surrounding electrons in the environment of the proton will start revolution perpendicular to this magnetic field. So here we have the revolution of the protons which are present around the proton. These are the electrons which, re uh, which start revolution around this proton. So this electronic cloud causes the magnetic field in this direction. So overall the uh, overall the revolution of the electron is in this direction which is in clockwise so due to this clockwise revolution of the electrons the magnetic field produced or induced by these electrons will be in perpendicular to this revolution which is in downward direction so the electronic effect will shield this external magnetic field and thus the effective magnetic field will be reduced that is the effective magnetic field will become the external magnetic field minus the electronic magnetic field which are present around this proton. Again the these are the surrounding atoms or the electrons from the surrounding atom and the clockwise revolution of these electron produce the electronic field or induced magnetic field which is in downward direction according to right hand rule the red, here is the direction of the induced magnetic field which is downward according to right hand rule and according to left hand rule when the external magnetic field is in this direction the electronic revolution will be perpendicular to this external magnetic field which is in this direction and due to this revolution here the magnetic field which is induced by the electron will be in opposite direction of this external magnetic field. So here we shown that the, this is the overall induced magnetic field around this proton and this overall magnetic field which is produced around this proton will have direction opposite to the external magnetic field and this will reduce the effect of external magnetic field on this proton. So this is the shielding effect. Now what will effect, what will be the effect on the NMR peaks or signals? When shielding effect occurs, the proton peaks or NMR signals will be upfield in the this delta scale value 
our chemical shift value so the shifting will be upward because when the effect of external magnetic field is reduced the splitting between these proton uh, between two spin states that is beta and alpha alpha and beta spin state will be reduced so less energy will be required so therefore the peak or the signal will be up field in case of d shielded effect or the peaks will be down field and during d shielding which is the opposite of the shielding the effect of external magnetic field will be increased and due to the effect of external magnetic field the splitting of the two spin states will be increased and therefore more energy or high energy is required for spin flipping so due to this reason the peaks will be shifted downward so deshielding is the opposite of this shielding effect when the electronic clouds are less or far from the proton here we are going to show example of the shielding effect and deshielding effect so in this case we have a methanol and this proton if we look at the uh, this nmr spectrum of this proton it will be deshielded and it will be downfield because it absorbs at high frequency and it is deshielded because of this oxygen so oxygen has electron withdrawing inductive effect due to electronegativity of this oxygen so electron withdrawing inductive effect causes reduces the electronic cloud from this proton and this proton is deshielded and due to this deshielding effect the it will the nmr spectrum will be downfield while in case of these protons which are shielded it will absorb at lower frequency and the their peaks will be up field now we are going to discuss other factors that affect chemical shift of the proton so here we already discussed the inductive effect because of this oxygen so when a proton is bonded with the electronegative atom it causes the electron withdrawing inductive effect and due to this reason proton is deshielded and absorbs at higher frequency so now we are going to take another example where the electronegative atoms are attached with this methyl group so here we have ch4 methane which gives the uh, nmr peak at 0.23 ppm and when this methyl group is attached with iodine it will become methyl iodide the it will be shifted towards the downfield and the peak will be this the proton of these three protons peak of this these three protons will be at 2.2 ppm and here when it is the more electronegative atom which is bromine it will be more shifted downward or downfield and the signal will be at 2.7 ppm and when this is attached with the chlorine which is more electronegative than bromine the proton nmr signal will be shifted more towards downfield and it will be 3.1 ppm and when it is attached with fluorine it will become 4.3 ppm that is more deshielded so because of the electronegative atoms when electronegativity is going to increase the deshielding effect will be going to increased here we are going to take another example where we have these three methyl groups containing three three protons attached with this nitrogen and they they will provide a signal of 2.2 ppm of these nine protons and when these protons of the methyl group attached with the oxygen in dimethyl ether these proton will give nmr peak at 3.2 ppm which is more towards the downfield because of the more electronegativity of the oxygen atom than nitrogen atom another factor that affects the position of nmr signal is hydrogen bonding when hydrogen bonding hydrogen bonding also causes deshielding effect and shifts the uh, nmr signal downfield so the shift depends on the strength of the hydrogen bonding here we are going to take example when we have hydrogen bonding of this proton with this oxygen then this proton will be deshielded and this deshielding is due to the bonding of this proton with this oxygen as well as the hydrogen bonded 
bonding with this oxygen. So in both cases, the electron inductive effect withdraws the electrons from the surrounding of this proton and this proton is more de-shielded. And due to this de-shielded effect, the peak of this proton will be more downfield. So as hydrogen bond is dynamic, its strength increases or decreases by making and breaking constantly. So its shift is, is, is in wide range, so can be better determined usually in case of OH or NH2 group by D2O ex exchange experiment. Now we are going to discuss what is D2O exchange experiment or deuterium oxide change experiment. This experiment is used to determine that whether the NMR peak which is obtained is of uh, 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 this hydroxyl proton or NH2 proton or some other protons because these can be exchangeable with the D2O. So D2O exchange experiment of OH or NH protons. These protons are exchangeable protons. After their peaks obtained in the NMR spectrum, add some D2O deuterium oxide and again take the reading. So in, case, in this case, the peaks of the exchangeable protons will be disappeared or vanished due to deuterium oxide. Thus, we can identify the peaks of these protons. Be that is before and after adding D2O. The difference in the peaks will represent the proton peak of these OH or NH protons. Intramolecular hydrogen bonding does not show chemical shift. Now the strength of hydrogen bonding depends on type of solvent. If the solvent is more polar, then it will be de-shielded because the polar solvent will affect the hydrogen bonding and the strength of hydrogen bonding will increase. So due to this reason, the de-shielding effect will occur. And if the solvent is non-polar, then it will not affect the hydrogen bonding or it will decrease the hydrogen bonding. Second factor that affects hydrogen bonding is the concentration of the solution. If the concentration of solution is more or greater, the hydrogen bonding will increase due to the concentration of the solution, hydrogen bonding will increase. And due to this hydrogen bonding, de-shielding effect will be more or greater. The third factor is acidity. When acidity is greater, then more hydrogen bonding and then the de-shielding effect will occur. The last factor that affects hydrogen bonding is temperature. By increasing the temperature, hydrogen bonding will be broken down and due to breaking of the hydrogen bonding, the shielding effect will occur. So the NMR spectrum will be sh shifted upfield instead of the downfield. So it will affect oppositely with the temperature. The last factor that affects the position of NMR signal is Van der Waals effect or steric effect. Due to more crowdedness around the proton or Van der Waals forces, the de-shielding effect will be produced. So here we are going to take example, like here we have these protons, when this is attached with the alkyl group, the shielding effect, so less steric hindrance and less repulsion of these and thus, but in case of this case, when this proton is more crowded with the protons and electrons of these atoms, de-shielding effect will occur due to the steric effect that is repulsion. So due to steric effect of these protons, the repulsion occur and de-shielding effect will occur. While in case of these protons, shielding effect will occur because it is not going to repulse, so uh, less repulsion due to this single R group. While in case of more alkyl groups, more repulsion will occur and thus de-shielding effect will be induced. So these are the factors. Today we effect, we uh, studied that uh, these factors are affecting the position of the NMR signals. And uh, in our next class, we will study the magnetic anisotropy or the effect of pi electrons on the shielding or de-shielding effect of the proton and the position of NMR signal. So thanks for watching my video.